exhilarating, imposing, breathtaking. This is the Iron Path over Lauterbrunnen Valley. Sitting 1,300 feet above the valley floor lies the intense Via Ferrata Muren. Via Ferrata, literally meaning Iron Path in Italian, were created in the Italian Dolomites during World War I. They were built to aid soldiers in reaching strategic positions in the mountains, and now climbers and outdoor enthusiasts alike can reach views that would have otherwise been unattainable. Scaling across the daunting east face of the Schilthorn Mountain, this Via Ferrata takes you down from Muren to Gimmelwald along a series of narrow rungs, steep ladders, tight ropes, and an unforgiving suspension bridge. Often hailed as the most popular Via Ferrata in Switzerland, we couldn't leave the Jungfrau region without completing it. And to tell you the truth, this was our very first Via Ferrata. Join us as we take you along the journey of one of the most exciting things you can do in the Lauterbrunnen area. Let's begin our adventure with some morning views in the valley. Good morning, it is another beautiful day here in Switzerland. Today we are going to be exploring the Lauterbrunnen Valley. This has been on the bucket list for so long now. We're actually at this photo spot that's really popular, but it's actually just the two of us here surprisingly, even though it's almost nine in the morning. And it's exactly like we dreamed of. You can see the chapel right behind us, and it's just surrounded by these tall, amazing mountains right here in this beautiful green luscious valley. You can also see a little bit of Staubach Falls on the side, but because it hasn't been raining, you can't see it that much. It's a little bit faint, but honestly, it is a blessing. We're actually gonna walk through the Lauterbrunnen Valley a little bit later in the afternoon because we realized that once the sun is fully out shining in the valley, it's gonna look way better. So what we decided to do is come up to the town of Muren. Now, normally getting to Muren is a lot easier through Lauterbrunnen, but unfortunately that railway is under maintenance. So we had to take a bus and two cable cars, but we're now we're finally here. And the reason why we had to come to Muren is to do this really special hike that we mentioned earlier. It's called the Via Ferrata. And a Via Ferrata in Italian means the Iron Way. It's a very, very special way that we can get down from Muren to Gimmelwald. That's the trajectory of this hike. We cannot wait to do it. And three things that you need to do a Via Ferrata are a helmet, harness, and two carabiners. Don't worry about bringing your own equipment because you can rent it directly from Intersport, which is the starting point for this Via Ferrata. There are tons of these iron ways throughout the Alps, but this one particularly is the most popular in Switzerland and the Intersport is about to open. So let's head over there to rent our gear. We are looking so stylish right now with our green helmets on. So we managed to get all of our equipment with our harnesses, our carabiners, everything. A couple things you should know about this Via Ferrata. First of all is the cost for rentals and it costs 30 francs per person. And you also have to book in advance. We were so fortunate because there was a cancellation for today so we just swooped right in. We should book at least two days in advance. Yeah, we actually heard her on the phone talking to somebody on the other line asking if they can do it today and she said nope, fully booked. So if you guys want to do this, make sure book in advance, call them or just email them. We're at the very beginning, even though this trail doesn't need you to clip in, it's a really great spot for you to start practicing. So we've noticed that the best way is actually do it underhand because then you use your thumb to clip in and out. Maybe take it. Of course, doing the Via Ferrata requires you to have both hands and I can't really do that while holding a vlog camera. So we are gonna switch over to the action camera.
That's crazy. If you wanted to, you can actually base jump right from here straight into that valley. That's crazy. I think right here is one of the sketchiest parts because you're sort of hiking right alongside the mountain. You see some people back there taking some photos. Done. I think you really just have to trust those feet because I mean every other time when you couldn't see under and it was just like a really small step under the steel bars we were completely fine so why would it change this time maybe it's because there's a thousand foot drop right there to your right <laughs> I feel like this ladder is the worst because it actually caves in. It's like a bit of an overhang. Oh yeah, it is an overhang. Yeah. I wonder. Okay, by the way, this is how gross your hands get. Don't touch your face. Guarantee you there's some stuff you don't want to know about on these ladder runs. Oof. end of the cable we're gonna get back on that cable car back to Miran to drop off our gear we're not done yet no we thought it was done but it was the cable portion that was done we still got about maybe a total of 10 minutes or less of uphill hiking and you can see the cable car right over there that will eventually take us to Miran right there can't believe I did the entire Via Ferrata with this stupid big backpack Oh man, my back is just soaked. Our puffer jackets were so useless and they've been here the whole time. Yeah, it's 20 plus degrees. We made it back down to Schekelberg and we have a little bit more energy to spare this afternoon. So we thought instead of taking the bus back to Lauterbrunnen, we're gonna take the Nordic walking trail and it's only an hour on a wide flat path from Steckelberg to Ladebrunnen. And we're completely encased in the valley. We can see the mountains, but we also have the cooling creek to our right. One thing we noticed that's so crazy is how many paragliders are up in the air here in Lausebrunnen. If you look up, you probably see 10, 20 gliders sometimes, just enjoying the magnificent view. Honestly, is there any place better to paraglide? Probably not. I feel like next time we come over here, that's an activity we have to do. Mm -hmm. 